overwhelmingly positive and I think that the, um, the football club Burnley set the tone and particularly the captain I think it was a credit to his profession the way he came out um, and, and, and condemned what had, hap- what had happened and by the way what I should say is that there's no crime committed someone has a right to take a plane and fly it over that, if that's what they want to do um, I think the context of it from their point of view, was unfortunate because it, all, it's ma- all it's made it possible to do is for people to double down on why this conversation is important, why these difficult at times conversations need to keep happening, and why this is such an important time, possibly transformative moment. So in that sense, I would say it's backfired. We're still having these conversations. It's kept the momentum going for the last few weeks, um, and it's enabled you know us to keep getting the message out there. Um, I've done a little bit of law, but I couldn't tell you whether it's a definition of a hate crime. That's for up to the other people to see. Um, for me, you know, I think, I just think it's given me an opportunity and lots of people like me to explain about the Black Lives Matter movement. And, you know, and I, I've said it many times today, I'll say it again. Black Lives Matter is not meant to supersede any other lives. The fact is, all lives matter. We know that, and that's a given. It's a truism from now and from now till eternity. What Black Lives Matter represented was a reaction to the fact that, although all lives matter, in theory, in practice, that hasn't been the case. And you have to look at the unlawful killing of of people in the states, and you know some and some some instances over here. And then you factor in the lack of representation. Um, in, in in leadership roles in the country, um, the football as well as its own issue around black managers. So these are the conversations, and these this leads to this discussion that black lives haven't mattered as much. So, so in some ways, people of colour stand um, behind other 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 people, and where whereas all we're asking for is equality and an equal footing. I think most people who get that, you know, that some of the backlash has maybe been a little bit of battle fatigue. It's been in the news so much over the last three weeks. And I can't remember a time when issues of race has been so prominent in the news. Um, but, and again, no one wants to be sitting here talking about race. We all, we all want to get on with our lives. 2020 has, has uh, presented itself with a lot of issues already. So no one wants to be banging on. But these are important times and important messages and we can't shy away from them, and I don't feel I can because I've got, I've got children. Same messages that my parents gave me, I take on board and have to give them to my children. You know, do my children then have to keep giving it to their children? Where, do, at what point are we are we starting to see progress? Because, in many respects, the dial hasn't changed for twenty years or more. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was just about to, I was just about to say the same thing, Jamie. I think there's a willfulness about that uh, that uh, they can use that to to inform and back up a narrative I think they've already um, made the minds up on. I think so. I think the education piece is only, it's only there for people who want to be educated. You can't force education down people who've got a closed mindset and don't want to learn anymore. Oh gosh, how long you got? It's probably talking about sociology, really. Um, it's a gang mentality, that kind of herd mentality, I should say rather than gang, it's a herd mentality. You know, that affinity to your club and then it becomes an affinity to what you perceive your club is about and what it should maybe look like, what it should represent. It actually goes beyond the actual, the actual small idea of kicking a ball on the pitch because there's been black players in football for 30 odd years and more. Um, and that hasn't affected the mindset of some people who see their club in a certain way. So, you know, there's a whole discussion about that from a sociological point of view. Um, but again, football's made great strides to make sure that some of that mass organisation has been driven. I'm not saying it's gone away completely, it's probably gone underground and the internet's probably been a boon to, to that movement as well. But I think, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm an optimist. I've always tried to be an optimist and I think that um, provide people with enough of their education, enough of role models, positive, inspirational role models, eventually that, that, that becomes almost overwhelming. 